it is a brisk day and a baseball practice day. <gasps> we haven't had, we haven't played baseball this this season. This... No, you have not. Ah! Um, but uh, because of that, I haven't really talked about how baseball works at at Somerville High School. Mm-hmm. So let me explain it. Um, you're all on the field, everyone, every single person uh, that goes to Somerville High School must practice. Wait, <laughs> every, every, everyone? <laughs> what? That's that's, that, that's 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 more than ten. Everyone. Um, there Everyone is who goes to every student at the high school. Every student, Freshman, so there senior, is sophomore, senior. Everybody, there mm-hmm. is always baseball going on. So essentially, the way it works is it's built into your schedule. Mm-hmm. Like you've got a period or two of baseball, like every other day, and so pretty much once one group gets off the field, another group gets on the field. It's going constantly every single day during the school day um the four of you well the the three of you obviously plus plus morgan uh have signed up for the same practice schedule which is very nice it's you know a mix of you know folks you know and folks you don't and you're building camaraderie with your own kind of practice group uh in terms of actual competition against other magnet schools that is done by only one group, mm. the Vlarsity team. <gasps> Vlarsity team. Most, but not all, are seniors. And they are the absolute best of the best at pure on-field baseball. The Vlarsity team practices separately. <laughs> and you can all see them sometimes from certain classrooms throughout the day. So... Practice for all of you, um, you know, all freshmen, uh, is interesting because you're simultaneously having fun. But there's also that nagging thought that's in some folks' minds, but not others, about how hard should I be trying? Should I be trying to get the Velocity coach's attention or should I not? Um, Who's really, the coach? all that's required. What's that? Who's the coach? Who's the coach? There are two of them. <laughs> oh, who are the coach? I'm sorry. Who are the coaches? They are the Bards. You do not know if that is their name, their profession, if they are what related they went to. or married. Um, all you know is that they have clipboards and they're constantly holding them up and whispering to each other behind them. It's tantalizing. If only we knew what they were thinking and saying. We'll never know. Can I mm. read the bard's mind? <laughs> yeah. <All right>. um, <laughs> sure. Two uh, d six plus weird, please. Uh, ten. All right. Um, <laughs> so, would you like to know? I mean, that's, that's a ten. So I'll give you kind of carte blanche. <laughs> you could learn who they are to each other. You could learn more about what Vlarsity Blaseball is, or you could uh, you could discover some creepy secret. <gasps> oh, A creepy secret. How many do I get to choose? Just one. <laughs> but you get the whole story. I wonder what you'll go with. <laughs> creepy <laughs> secret. <laughs> um, the creepy secret is uh, is this. So, Blaseball at all various levels, does different things. Um, Like, Little League kind of keeps an area safe. Um, You know, like, every every Little League team is responsible for engaging in feats of heroism in the town they defend and explore. Mm -hmm. The traveling team um, is pretty much... They cover a whole region. They go outside of the town. You've been on traveling team missions. Mm -hmm. You kind of cover, for for Boston, you cover all of New England outside of the metropolitan area, which is why outside the metropolitan area, there's all kinds of scary stuff because you only have Little League to do, or only traveling team to do it. Magnet school varsity teams, best you can tell, don't really, like their job is not to like go and solve mysteries and stuff like that. 
It's apparently just to play baseball as well as they possibly can. Hmm. If they do not play as well as they possibly can, something bad happens. Now, here's the scary secret. That process, the process of, you know, kind of crafting these unbelievably skilled kids and guiding them to to play in the in in the magnet school. That is really meant as a direct pipeline into professional baseball. Because in professional baseball, the games must continue or scholars believe the world will end. That's just a thing that everyone kind of knows. So the last stop before professional baseball is magnet school baseball. And to drill down on that even more, if coaches or umpires find out that players on the magnet school team are not playing to the best of their abilities, they are killed. What? what? I, it is not what? Who is? I'm sorry. What? The, the player. Like, like, like the students. The students. Like, so, so, so if they get a what cold, they're dead. Like, oh. No. It's to the best of their ability. Oh. On any given day, they have so to give their all. They have and to give their all, or they die. Or they're specifically, they don't just die; they're killed. They're killed. And that's kind of the big scary secret, hmm. which is coaches and or umpires need to inf- impress upon magnet school players <sighs> that if they do not give their all, they're gonna die. Because by the time they get to the major leagues, if they don't give their all, the world ends. Huh. Huh. What if you go past the max? Well, that's a good thing. Ah, okay. The, um, you don't, like, this is something that's kind of like a scary secret instead of something that's, that's well known. Because it has been a very long time since someone on the Somerville High School team, did not give their all. Hmm. I can see why. They'll be yeah. killed if they don't. Do they know they'll be killed when they sign so, up for Flarcity? Yeah, because you have a 10, like, you can really rummage around in the Bards' head. Yes, excellent. Um, the reason why it's mostly seniors is because the Little League, co- or the, the Flarcity coaches spend literally years assessing whether someone has the fortitude to oh. do their best. And it's not like win the game. It's not get a hit every at bat. It's do your absolute best. However big your cup is that day, when it's game time, you have to fill it with baseball. Fill that cup. Fill that cup. Because they are impressing upon you that amount of selflessness. Because once you go into... Baseball professionally, you got to do your best. You got to do your best every game. Can't have an off game. Mm-hmm. So that is terrifying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is horror. Humans <laughs> are brutal. Yeah. And but also I could totally do it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and are they married? <laughs> you asked for the scary secret. Oh, when oh. I find out children are getting killed, and all I can think is, are they married? Uh, mm-hmm. they, they keep saying they're roommates. I don't know what that Do happens. you think that maybe they're the same person twice? You're thinking about that. If you had, um, if if you weren't processing the horrifying information you just learned, you would probably have kind of room to do that. You'd have to rummage around in there another day. Mindy, Mindy, catch, Mindy, Mindy, catch the ball, Mindy! Oh, uh, the ball thunks me in the head while I'm thinking about if they Mindy. might be oh, no. person Mindy, twice. Mindy, oh, I, I, I trundle over it. Mindy, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were, you were looking, but you were looking past me, not to me. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't 
um, paying attention. That's my mistake, slobs. You didn't right. do anything wrong. Oh, you're you you got big old egg on your head now. Oh, I got distracted. That's what oh. happens. I'm sorry. Does this hurt? Poke. Yeah. Ow. No, okay, I'm gonna try it from a different angle. Poke. Okay. Ow. All right. yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it harder now. Poke. Okay. Try. Yeah. That that one really hurt. Okay. I I I, I have come to a diagnosis. Okay. What is it? <laughs> you got clonked. I would say that's accurate. I think mm -hmm. we can safely conclude that. I need a second opinion. Darby. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. I, I I need you to poke. Okay, Mindy. I'm gonna be poking. It's okay. And I'll poke right here. Out. Yep. Okay. That did it. That mm -hmm. hurt. You you call that a poke? That also hurt. Wow, that was that it's was. It's an angel's touch. touch poke. It was an angel's touch poke. It feels. Messy. I don't need to poke as hard to feel what's happening. Okay, I'll stay very still. Yeah, you got clonked. Mm. Yeah, it would appear that a baseball hit me in my head. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get you a nice pack. Thanks. I'm gonna make it into a hat. Mm. Slobs, do you yeah, think the up? bards are married? I don't know. Does, does it matter? Do you think they're roommates? I don't know. Does it matter? I, I want to know what they are to each other. We can ask them. Excuse me, bards, coaches. Slops. Slops. Coach, 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 coach. One of the Slops. bards um, uh, uh, calls, kind of calls a timeout. Severus Lobin. Hi, I clunked Mindy by accident. We saw. Yeah, she wants to know if if nope, you're nope. married. You told me you asked her if if both you and the other bard were married. Oh, uh, slobs misheard me. It no, must we be... gotta play. Mindy, catch! Oh, Mindy, catch! Ow, slobs! Oh, no, you you have to make sure that I'm looking at you and also um, not lost in thought. Double check that I'm not lost in thought when I'm also looking at you. Okay, I I poked the new clonk. Ow. I have oh. ripped the ice pack in two. Oh, Darby. And I will now also rip the t-shirt that I brought to wrap it in in two. So uh, here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, I want each of you to roll something. Darby, I want you to roll 2d6 plus sharp to make a makeshift uh, cold hat. Mindy, I want you to roll 2d6 plus cool to continue to pay attention to things. <laughs> and Slobs, I want you to roll 2d6 plus tough to just see how you're doing out there. Mm -hmm. I rolled a 12, so not only do I do it, but it's got like some pretty bows. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> yes. Um, Mindy, wow. what did you get? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. What am I rolling? Cool. 2d6 plus cool to see if you're paying attention. Oh. <laughs> 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 and slobs. Yeah, I got, I got two d six plus tough to to see your general game aptitude. Eight, eight. Um, I'm doing all right. So the bards are constantly whispering and taking notes. Um, best you can tell, and it's really hard. They're fairly inscrutable. Um. But Mindy, you get a sense that they do not like what you're up to out there. They think you are uh, easily distracted. Um, wow. <laughs> they, you don't know if they know you're distracted by wondering about their deep, dark secrets. Mm. <laughs> but you're pretty sure they don't like it. Uh, Zlobs, you comport yourself uh, well. Um, uh, no positive or negative notes, you think. Mm-hmm. Darby, even though you weren't even playing baseball, the fact that you sprung into action very, very fast and did like an incredibly impressive job triaging an on-field injury, um, the relatively hard to read faces of the bards uh, kind of broke. And like one of them raised an eyebrow and the other one nodded and they both looked at you and looked at each other and did a little, no two injuries, right? And made some notes. So, <laughs> you know, do with that. Do with that what you will. Um, I will resist the urge to wink at them. Yeah. Uh, the The rest of the um, 
the the rest of practice is 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 good is fun um you know again it's kind of varying levels of effort here all of your practice is mostly freshmen you think there are a couple of sophomores in here um you know everyone's kind of gotten to know everyone um but yeah like for instance harper's bazaar is in your group um and harper's bazaar is not laying out for every ground ball and and you know grinding harper's bazaar is here because it's on Harper's Bazaar schedule. Um, Harper's Bazaar looks fantastic. But, uh, you know, you can see, like, there are some people here that are desperately trying to get the coach's attention and others that aren't. Mindy, the thing you're trying to figure out is how common is the knowledge that when folks kind of sl- sign up for Velocity, they're signing up to, without exception, do their best every game under pain of death. Yeah. Um, like, you don't know. You didn't know until you dove into their brains. So you're not sure if, like, you start... It, like, if you s- stood on the roof and said, hey, this is what Velarsity is, you don't know if that would shock people or not. Mm. So even Maybe that's they sign a permission of, slip. That could be. You certainly signed one. And, and point of fact, the Blitty League permission slip you signed had the word death in it at least half a dozen times. Um, sure. But, you know, that that was kind of due to, you know, outside issues and horrors and things like that. Whereas with this, it's like, oh, oh, the umpire might just incinerate us if we weren't trying our hardest. That That's a different kind of scary. And you just don't know if it... You just don't know. You just don't know if people know. Um, hmm. But in any event, you all have, uh, you all have a good time. Uh, you all do varying degrees of well <laughs> um and uh and yeah and and practice ends your practice was it kind of varies in terms of time like it's at different times on different days this was at the end of the day and so uh you know most folks aren't like going to the locker room to change most folks are just getting their bags and getting ready to head home mm-hmm. uh, so everyone's lining up high-fiving each other and uh harper's bazaar walks up to you um Good practice, everybody. Thanks, Arps. Yeah, you too, Arps. Yeah. It's so nice being out there with with you all again. Uh, it feels like the good old days. Yeah. Blaze balls are just hold up. I like it. Hmm. You think these are the good old days, too? Yeah. Yeah. But then hmm. now, it's not go the good old days until we look back on them as the good, good now days. days. The good now days, good yeah. Good now days. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Speaking of, uh, me and me and a couple of the other folks are going to go over to station. Do you folks want to come? Oh my god, yes! Ooh, I would yeah, love, I, a, love I would love a bowl bowl. Yeah. Um. Nice. Uh. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. I'll be. I'll be ready soon. Can we walk together? Yeah. Sure. Totally. Yeah. I awesome. just need. To, I just need to change out of this. I hit a mud puddle. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um. So yeah, folks are gathering up. Um. As a team. Uh, yeah, Zlobs and Mindy, you are both excited to go to station. Yeah, I um, want to get an ice cup for my head. Oh, that'd be so yes. good. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to see if how many times I can refill. I can refill mine. Don't they say it's unlimited? I, I've, I'm, I'm pushing the boundaries every time I go there. Darby, two d six plus sharp, please. It's a ten. You do not know what the heck they are talking about. Nope. <laughs> Uh, I uh, yeah, I'll I'll come I'll come to. We don't have to. You you sound like you're. Have we been there before? Did it change names? No. Mm, I don't think so. What you've been there, Darby? Haven't you with us? Yeah, Zlobs, Mindy, you're pretty sure Darby has. Yeah, yeah we've I mean, all gone together. Yeah, no. We don't We don't have to go to the one nearby. We can go to the one on the other side of town. There's another one? Mm, I like the one nearby. It is It is the best one. Wait, what are they like? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on um, with... with what, wait, what's... Like, what do they have? Maybe I'm just confusing it with some, something else. We it's don't, Station, Darby. Station. It's right next to the school. It's yeah. got the bowls and the ice cups, mac yeah, and cheese. You, you always get the flaming hot mac and cheese bowl. I do like flaming yeah, hot mac and Mindy, cheese. You're, you're, 
pretty sure that's Darby's go-to order. Yeah. Yeah. I know everyone's go-to order. It's, yeah. it's like a steel trap in here. Oh, yeah? What's my go-to order? Uh, you like to get, sometimes you like to chew on ice. And you like to have the uh, the, 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 the green bowl. Wow, good memory. Yeah. Maybe if you've applied that, Slobs, to some of your history homework, <laughs> it would really pay off. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know you keep laughing about history uh, with me. No. We've talked about this. I'm more and, in the now than in the past. It's the good dump. old days, for, but for history. I'm yes. in the now days. I just want to dump my water bottle over my head to see if maybe I'm maybe that just jogs something, the cold water. Yeah, I, sure. I, yeah, just whoosh, you know, it's I, nice cold water. I also throw um, my water. Ha! Yeah. No. Uh, 2D6 plus uh, 2D6 plus sharp to investigate a mystery. Oh, that's a five. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, un- unless it's um, regarding a specific person named Station. <laughs> it is not a mess. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you, you're you oh. looking like you like kind of splash some water on your head. As a team. As a team. And mm-hmm. you're looking around and <laughs> sta- like, uh, what the heck is Station? And, you know, like Zlobs and Mindy are now like, shouting different people and each of them are responding with like their favorite orders like well it's harper's favorite or what's like that's going on um you know you look around people are like kind of you know like putting their jackets on Mm -hmm. like over there over there like somerville jerseys Mm -hmm. and like taking keys out of their pocket and you see like like station keychains like keychain yeah, it, I got one. So yeah, it says if you, yeah, Slob's just got one. Mm-hmm. Huh. What well, color is yours? My color is blue. And the, and um, what was that? Yeah, he ha- he has a blue one. That's pretty mm-hmm. popular. A couple people have that one. Mm-hmm. And cool. and and mine mine is also ha- has three sizes of Allen wrenches. Yeah, one, the blue one, Allen wrench one. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's like one normal size, one small size, and one. Uh, a non-Euclidean, mm. and I've yeah, got a for... station sticker on my um, well, on my hydro flask. Yep, which Darby, you don't think you have noticed before? No, like Mindy always has the hydro flask. Mindy does her best to stay yeah. hydrated. Like what? Yeah, like the logo for station. Like it's like a road that kind of stretches away, like towards the horizon. And there's almost like a little castle, like a little tower castle with like an S on it. And like that's the station look, and like the keychains look like that in different colors. And when when we go inside, hi Fletch. Hey Zobs, how you doing? I'm doing great. I I need the un- unlimited cup, please. Unlimited cup. Um, yeah, and he you know tap tap tap, uh, you know rings it in. You swipe your card and. Sure enough. Yeah, so Darby, you walk in. Slobs walks in like he's the mayor of the place. Mm-hmm. Um, orders an unlimited cup. And there's this giant, like, super big cooler. Like a giant freezer on its side. And in it are these individual sealed cups of ice of various sizes. And Slobs grabs the the biggest one. And, uh, you know, starts going about his business, filling the cup with all various, various beverages. There are other... Students in here, Harper's Bazaar's in here, um, uh, near the microwave, uh, heating up a rice bowl. Uh, there are kids in the parking lot hanging out. Uh, yeah, Darby, now that you're in here, let me describe what, what is happening exactly. Um, it's it's like a convenience store slash kind of old school cafeteria. Like, very like bright and clean, like a... Um, you know, like, like a Wawa or a Cumberland Farms, like that mm-hmm. kind of thing. Just bright aisles, snacks. But there's like a wall of kind of these pre-made meals in like little cubbies you can take out, like old school, like cafeteria, um, like dinette cafeterias, I think they're called. And like there are rice bowls and mac and cheese bowls. And there's like an area where you can customize them. There are these big cups and they're like, you know, drink fountains everywhere so you can, like, mix and match your drinks. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's absolutely, like, 
You have literally never been in here before. No. Um, give me a 2d6 plus weird, please. That would be an eight. Okay, partial success. Um, you were so kind of jarred by this because again you were walking in like a group of your friends all of whom were talking about this place you've never been with a lot of familiarity um and for whatever reason like you just it it didn't kind of dawn on you where you were walking or anything but now that you're kind of here you like stand and look around and yeah with an eight um it takes you a while to realize, like, spatially where you are. But, yeah, you're, like, maybe a block from the school. And this was definitely an empty lot. Yeah. Like, you vividly remember this being an empty lot and not a very clean convenience store that sells rice bowls and mac and cheese and hmm. big build-your-own-drink cups. Mm. All right, Fletch, I'll okay. the rice in the ice cup. <sighs> you know, that's not allowed. Ah, fine. Hello, okay, Fletch. Zlobs. Zlobs hey, Mindy, how was school? <laughs> it was okay, but I got two bumps on the head. Can I get an ice cup and a green creature bowl? Ice cup, green creature bowl. Boop, 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 boop. Um, yeah, Darby F- mm. Fletch, the, 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 the guy here, the, the, employee here um early 20s his name tag says fletcher on it um hey fletch what's my name two d6 plus two d6 plus sharp you're investigating a mystery that's another eight Hmm. you can ask one question hmm Um, what here is not what it seems. Um, (laughs) the familiarity that everyone has with this place, you don't think it's real. Huh. So maybe I'm not the one. Who's misremembering? It's something about how you asked Fletch what your name was. It's like he paused. Big smile on his face. Stared at you for a second. And like before he could answer, someone else came up to him and ordered some food. And like, and that's when it kind of clicks. It's like, Slobs and Mindy say you've been here before. He knows everyone else. So why wouldn't he know me? Mm -hmm. And then you're just like, no, that can't, that can't be. Something about this is weird now. Yeah. Mm. Slobs, Mindy, Mm -hmm. I need to steal you. Come here. Okay. Something fishy's going on. Oh, it's probably the fishbowl. I'll say. Besides. Yeah, there are like three people outside eating fishbowls. Mm hmm. They've Fish been bolt. talking to each other nonstop. Do you I think, think something fishy is going on too? Oh, okay, I focus on me. Wait, Gabriel, focus on the wall. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. I have no memory of this place at all. This is an empty lot, and I was thinking initially that maybe I don't know. I got clonked real bad or something, and just didn't remember. I I I, I poke your head. Ow, 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 ow. Not ow, your ow. head, Mindy. Mm-hmm. I didn't get, I didn't though, because there's, I can just feel it. There's something, there's something weird going on. And Fletch didn't know my name. You all remember me being here, but he, he didn't. Okay. Uh, Darby, oh. you should just try the flame and hot mac and cheese bowl. You're probably just hungry. And then you'll yeah. remember everything when the taste jogs your memory. Yeah. Taste and hey, memory are very I, closely related in the brain. Hey, 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 Fletch, what's Darby's name? Oh, her name's Darby. He uh, shouts see? from inside. There you go. 
He remembers. It's a lot of students that come here. <sighs> okay, I will have the flaming hot mac and cheese. But yes. if it doesn't jog anything, will you just humor me and help me look into this? Sure. Because either way, something's up. Mm -hmm. It's either me or it's everybody else. Mm. Either way, I don't like it. Exactly. No one yeah, messes yeah. with everyone else or our Darby. Yeah, nobody messes with anyone or you or anyone mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. no so mess. get your mac and cheese bowl, taste it, and report back. Okay. Slobs, do you think they're going to go to the harvest dance together? Why, why don't we just chill next to them casually and, and, and get let's their vibes? Let's try to listen and to what Harps is saying. Yeah, let's just listen. I've never seen Harper's Bazaar look nervous before. Oh, that's probably a sign. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're reading the Harper's Bazaar situation. and Harper's Bazaar, cool as a cucumber, but today maybe a little less so. Yeah, mm. it's because Harper's talking to, to Tad Clasm. Let me just make a note. <laughs> Tad Clasm. Yeah. Perfect. Um, Fletch. Uh, Darby, yeah, Darby oh, uh, again? Anyone in the chat, um, just one word to describe Tad Clasm. Just any word at all. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Darby, you walk, you walk in and yeah, like there are people coming and going. It's mostly high schoolers. Like you... You think maybe there's like one person in here that is not a high schooler. Um, okay. Perfect. Thank you, Ender. What? That could not be more perfect. That birthday is happy Narwhal. birthday to all of us, frankly. Um, so, uh, yeah, you walk in um, and, and uh, Fletcher looks at you. I'm so sorry it took me a minute to remember your name. It's been a busy day. I'm sorry that I asked it so aggressively. It has also been a day, and my mind's a little fuzzy. And I apologize. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have hey, said it that way. We've all been there. Y yeah. So anyway, if, if we can uh, start on a new uh, foot, sounds good to me. Uh, what can I get you? I would like the flaming hot mac and cheese, please. Boop 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 boop. Um. Yep. And you know, price pops up on the register, and uh. Yeah, one of the one of like the cubbies like along the wall that has all the various mac and cheeses and rice bowls, like one of them lights up. Like boop. And so you pay, you walk over there, you open up the little cubby, and sure enough, yep, a flaming hot mac and cheese, and there's a whole like condiments bar that you could put all kinds of stuff on it if you want. I'm just gonna have it basic because I don't know if Whichever Darby has been here puts condiments on it, and I want to make sure that I'm having as close as possible to the experience they say will potentially jog my memory. Yep. So yeah, you you kind of you know you kind of stand there. You know it's very hot. You eat it. It is very tasty. Two um, d six plus sharp. I'll give you a plus one because you're really now trying to punch through the veil of this. Yeah, so that'll be another eight. Okay. Um, this is not familiar to you. Mm -mm. You know that for sure. Um, it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. But it is not familiar to you. So... You like there's nothing else you can glean from it. Like you don't know if it's some kind of like magic mac and cheese or anything like that. You just know that it tastes good. You've never had it before. Mm -hmm. As you're standing and eating it, you see all of the you see like a big rack of keychains. And yeah, there are a bunch of station keychains, all different colors, and all the colors have like a variety of like cool hidden things in them, like miniature tools or like a tiny little area to hide like a quarter or and then there are a couple of real fancy looking keychains that are like locked away under like a glass case um <laughs> one's a pair of nunchucks <laughs> yeah there's one that's just like the station logo on a nunchuck connected to the other one with a chain it's like that's just a legitimate <laughs> pair of nunchucks um it's very hmm. expensive uh, so, yeah, um, 
That's where you're at, Darby. Okay. I'm going to go back out and interrupt Zlabs and Mindy's people watching. Because I have my update. Zlabs, Mindy. Yeah. yeah. Mac and cheese. Mm. My ruling is it's delicious. Mm-hmm. Yes. I liked Good. it. All Fletch right. and I are on better terms now. Excellent. After I was not so nice. Um, and so also, let's all just hang out and relax. No, because I definitely have never had that before. But you always get it. You always I've get it. I've never been here before. I would yeah. remember that mac and cheese. Yeah, you always add the croutons. Okay, look. I didn't add the croutons this time, but oh, I feel pretty sure that that would not. I don't think that would. I don't think that would. Do, I can go back and eat a crouton. No, 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 no. That, that, something's up. Something's up. Uh, you know Harper's that Bazaar I don't... says something funny. Tad Clasm's giant narwhal laugh echoes throughout the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, they're very sweet together. Yeah, they are. I really hope that that's real. Yeah, with, 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 and not write, write that down, Darby. Write that down. Okay. Yeah. No. So, something is up. I. Yeah. I have think, a notebook too now. You know, Darby, that I don't like to go deep diving in your mind or diving it all in your mind because it, um, you know, the minds of angels are <gasps> horrid, eldritch places that make me nauseous. Group trip, However, group trip, group trip, group trip. I think it might be good to take a look and see what's going on. See if I can um, see where the memories are hiding or Us, else maybe we. if you had some other experience that covered it up amnesia style then i'll maybe see that and um you know maybe i can just do some work around and and see what's going on yeah you mean us you sure mindy us us going in us all of us look i haven't tried it in several years Mm -hmm. i am more mature than i used to be and i have two feet solidly on the ground and i think i can handle it perfect here's how this is gonna work um, yes, fine, you're Slabs, older, you can come, okay? Yay! Nice. Yeah. Now that you're older, um, there's a very specific mechanic for this now. You need a 10. Mm-hmm. Easy. No partial successes here. You need a 10. Got it. Whatever you roll, you're going to add harm to it until you get to 10. So if you roll, say, a five, you're going to instantly take five harm Ooh. to get you to a okay. ten. Ooh, spice. That's okay. So I'm just doing some math here. Yeah. I, I, I currently have can one I... ham. Can I, can I clear ham? Clear ham. Okay. Uh, Zlobs, if you do want to aid, mm-hmm. oh, you yeah. can certainly uh-huh. aid. Okay. We, we, need, we need someplace very quiet and cool. We're we're going we're going to a private booth at the Squeeze Easy. Excellent. Gotcha. So yeah, you head to you head I to call, the Squeeze Easy. I call in a favor. Call okay. in a favor. You head to the Squeeze. It's you know walk in the other direction. Um, you know, like getting some distance between you and and station is probably for the best. As you're walking towards Davis Square, Darby, you see a sign on Highland Avenue pointing to a different station. Um, and yeah, you get to the squeeze, mm-hmm. you go through the, the little trap door into the squeeze easy, mm-hmm. um, you know, Zlobs kind of sets the stage. It's like a nice, comfortable place. Um, so yeah, right, Zlobs, close the let's, uh, help out 2d6 plus cool. Uh, 12. Wow. Why are you, why are you, why are you, I have a plus three. That's like. true. Um, <laughs> Okay, well, a help out roll on a 12, they act as if they rolled a 12. Oh, wow. So good really? news, Mindy. Um, <laughs> no matter what you roll, you That's get a 12. That's the power of squeeze, baby. That's oh my perfect. Gosh. Because I was looking at the math and I was quickly coming to the conclusion that this could technically kill me. So this is wonderful news. Yeah, there there are a couple of rolls of the dice that would have that could have involved you like instantly like Going well, into a car. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ostensibly we, 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 we gained two hit point slots, right? Yeah, yeah remarkably. Ten, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, Lava's now in negative ham. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so you're all at the squeeze easy, which is, as we know, the kind of the speakeasy kind of hidden club within the squeeze. Mm -hmm. You get juices, nice refreshing juices mm -hmm. that you know are real. And Darby, this is, you know this place. No, th yes. Uh, yeah, this, Darby, I could never forget it? this place. Okay, this never. is not new. Okay. Because if remember this was every... fake, I would, I would, I would, I would cry. No, yeah, they know it's very not because real. we've taken pictures here. <laughs> The squeeze we, well, exists in every universe. But we, yeah. so we also we no also taken pictures at at the um at the at the station. But remember when I got my head stuck in a cup? Oh yeah, I'll never we, forget that day. And how you all kept taking pictures instead of helping me out of the cup? It was funny to take the pictures first, and then and then I was trying to take off the cup, and then my foot went to another cup, and then I got a foot a cup a cup of my foot and my head. I'm getting yeah. reverse FOMO. Yeah, oh, or like rewind, like. I think it's just FOMO. Fo it's just FOMO. <laughs> just FOMO. <laughs> Darby, you don't know what to make of it, but like Zlobs kind of scrolls through a bunch of different pictures that seem to be at different, like, you know, he's like wearing slightly different clothes and stuff. But all of the pictures are from the last, like, maybe 36 or 48 hours. Oh. Mm. So like, y you're so... Yeah, you're yeah. thinking about that. You open up your angelic mind. Zlobs is there kind of girding everybody. He put you all in a safe space. Mindy, you kind of make peace with the fact that you're going into the architecture of an angelic mind. Mm. And you do so. Yes. Um, it has been years. The, the things that when you were younger and like kind of just rummaging around in there from time to time. The the thing that was really freaky was that the longer you focused on something in there, the more self-contradictory it became. Like every so the idea of like you would try to think of a you would try to grab onto a memory and try to see the memory through Darby's eyes, but the more you did that, like the floor became the ceiling and left became right and you know, step parents became, you know, hollow eyed demons and the oceans were fire. Like, all, so it's like the more you focused on an individual thing in her mind, the more you realize it's like, oh, yeah, she's not from Earth. And it's kind of like when you're walking down the stairs at night and then you think there's one more step and then all of a sudden you trip into an unending black hole. Yes. That's what I would compare it to. Every <laughs> single individual aspect of her memories and her thoughts is a different that. Yep. Like everything. Like imagine like Darby's living room and picturing Darby's living room, but every single object in that living room is the feeling of falling into blackness forever. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, there's a table made of falling into blackness, and on it is a coffee cup made of falling into blackness. And inside is, like, a steaming liquid that is falling into blackness. I'm going to um, be honest, John. I don't like it. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. You've been in a lot of mines. This is the least hospitable. I'm glad Slobs is here, actually. Hello. It's more difficult to do while like tethering his mind to mine inside Darby's mind. But the company is nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, Zlobs, you are there too. You are kind of experiencing all of like the wild highs and lows of like Mindy trying to like tap a memory and tap a feeling like so the feeling of like falling and nausea and like up becoming down and water becoming fire and air becoming bricks and like all these things like you're experiencing all of that without necessarily seeing what it is so mm -hmm. it's it's a roller coaster through antarctica and you're blindfolded <laughs> that sounds um, great it, it, it's interesting yeah, um, uh, I, I I know I'm experiencing this. I'm trying to get my head as empty as possible, uh, which is still sneaking in. It's the it's the secret to your success. It's the secret to your battlefield calm. Mm -hmm. Is you can just you can just clear the guest room, you know, and just keep it empty. Whap. and just focus <laughs> on whatever's in there. Um, but even still, 
you're getting these weird trickling thoughts of like, oh, that shouldn't be. Oh, this shouldn't be. Oh, reality is pain. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> um, and in that, Mindy, is the secret. Mm-hmm. Darby's mind is made of such alien architecture that whatever station is cannot affect her. Whatever station is. You're I able it to was a gas station. You're able to see through her eyes enough that you realize she's right. That was a vacant lot, like, a week ago. Hmm. Like, you know that now. And then you realize, wait a minute, that, if that's a vacant lot, if Darby's mind is a fortress and, like, unimpeachable, then that means that someone pulled one over on you and slobs and everybody else. <gasps> no one messes with everyone else. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody messing with my mind is off limits from mm-hmm. me. Wait a second. Is there a Fletcher at every station? Zlobs, give me 2d6 plus weird. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, four. Uh, take one harm. Oh, yep. Yeah. Ah. Blood starts trickling down. You you Don't start think like kind of <laughs> bouncing around in the concept of contradiction. Like, okay, Fletcher. Oh, right. I, I walk like the one block over and there he is. Wait a minute. Didn't I see Fletcher at the other one? Wait a minute. Which one is the other one? And like you start kind of rattling it around. It's like, how long have I been going? And... You don't know what that means, but it's starting to give you a nosebleed. Mm-hmm. Uh, again. Okay, I'm I'm peeling us out of there. Uh-huh. <sighs> 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 my, my head is like face down in like a smoothie. <gasps> <sighs> okay. Everybody okay? Uh, ish. I'll be fine. Okay. We're all on the same page, right? Yeah. Yeah, changes. we got to go find Fletcher. Or one of Fletcher. Yeah, let's go, let's go to the one in Davis. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, there's one right here. There was a sign pointing to it. Um, uh, yeah, you you walk in. It's busy, different clientele in here. Um, older folks, adults, like commuters. Because it's now kind of like close to like commute o'clock and like people mm-hmm. are coming home. Um, you walk in... Slobs and Mindy, you get that same sense of familiarity, but now it's like dulled a little bit. Um, like the smells are less sharp. Like mm. the ice cups are less cold. The keychains are less like exciting and inviting. It's still here, but like you, you think you might have. It feels less here. Mm. It feels like everything's like 15% dimmer. Um, the person at the front desk, the person at the, the, the cashier, uh, his name is Fletcher. He has blonde hair instead of brown, but that's Fletcher. Hi, Fletch. What, hey, what? Slobs. Ice cup, please. Big you got unlimited. it. Of course. Doop, 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 boop. <clears throat> I would like to buy the nunchuck keychain, please. Oh, you think you can afford it? I have... Canonically, five hundred ninety-two dollars. Can yours? <laughs> uh, he he unlocks it with a with a key. Um, you now canonically have uh, uh, two hundred less dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, you now have a set of station nunchucks. They do. Uh, let's see. What is what? the? Um, <laughs> yep. It does. Uh, it is a handheld weapon. It does one harm. Nice. Loves, why are you even buying this stuff? We don't even know if it's real. Well, let's 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 run to the uh, the other one by um, uh, by Porter Square, and we'll see if they still have it. See if they still have the nunchucks. Yeah. 
Are you on to something right now or are you just trying Probably. to get another pair of nunchucks? I mean, both are nice. I can multitask. Okay, fine. We go to the one in Porter Square. <laughs> yep, there's another one in Porter Square. There are at least three. Mm-hmm. There's one near the high school. There's one in Davis and there's one in Porter. All of them, Darby, and you know this because you have flown over Somerville so many times. So many. Each of them in vacant lots. They were all vacant lots, construction sites, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you go to the yes. one in Porter. Uh, there's a redheaded Fletcher in here. Hey, um, hello, Fletcher. Hello, uh, Darby. Oh, okay. Are there um, nunchucks here? There are. I would like to buy some. Please. No, no, no. Slobs, 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 you don't... Slobs, slobs. One pair is enough. Um, so the station brand uh, nunchucks that you have from Davis Square, they are blue mm-hmm. and they have a road flare in them. Uh, the station <laughs> brand nunchucks from Porter Square are forest green and they have a socket set. Both okay. do one harm. You have now canonically spent another $200. Okay. All right. Let's have we get made all of our purchases? Of yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we have. Okay. Fletcher, it's I think it's time. Um, We'd like to order one conversation with you, please. Sure. Boop, 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 boop. Nope. Uh, it is zero dollars, but he still asks you for money. Mm. Here is no money, Fletcher. All righty. Thanks so much. Everybody out. Oh, that worked. Okay, bye. I didn't even that expect really that. Well. Great. Wow. I, why was there a button for that? <laughs> um, yeah, there were like three or four people in here that were like shopping. Um, so sorry, sorry everybody. everybody. It's important. Sorry. Yeah, they kind of look confused. Like they they they, they pay quickly and leave. Um, yeah, and the, the door closes, and he hits a button, and it locks. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm. Fletcher. Well, Fletcher, hello. Um, I'm Darby, as you seem to know. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's something not quite right about Station. Um, and I don't know what your role in all of this is, but we're just hoping we could have a little conversation to get to the bottom of what's going on here. No problem. Can I ask how you found out? Because whatever it is doesn't work on me. Okay. That's great. Hold on. Um. Are you calling some sort of backup? Uh, Fletch. F- Fletch. Fletch. Yeah. Fletch. You what just, just happened? You just kind of bobbed off. I did, yes. Uh, that's, but that's okay. Um. Can you please tell me what you just did? Mm, not yet, but maybe soon. Yeah, okay. Does Fletcher have a mind? Mm. 2d6 plus weird, please. <laughs> He's being too cryptic. He's lost his privileges to not get <laughs> mind read by me. <laughs> um, 10. Fletcher is not alive. Ah, oh, darn. Oh, oh, okay. Darn, what darn. If, no what mind, if we, no mind What if we see read? two Fletchers at once? Or three Fletchers at once? No, like, wait. You want us to get them all on. together? Yeah. He's not alive at all. No mind, no living, not a living thing. With a 10, I could give you the whole story. He is an android. Oh, oh, oh no. I oh, hate easy. it. It's awful. Oh, that's my fear. <coughs> um. Oh, like gosh. Mindy, you instantly tumble into the uncanny valley. Uh, like tiny little inhuman imperfections in him are now actively nauseating you. Oh, 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 this is awful. It's terrible to try to read an android's mind. It it it's it feels like when you're walking downstairs at night and you think there's another step <laughs> and you go to take that last step and then you get smacked in the face. <laughs> that's yeah. that's with that's something why I cold use, and hard and metal. That's why I use an iPhone. Mm. Slobs. Yeah. Slobs. Attack it. Attack it? Okay. Well, I might still be able to give us some more information. Double nunchucks! Oh. <laughs> all right. Nunchuck the heck out of him. Um, all right. Uh, this is going to be a kick some butt roll. 2d6 plus tough with the nunchucks. Uh, I'm using two nunchucks, so is it as a... All right, yeah. 2d6 plus tough minus one, but it'll double your damage. All right. Uh, uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Um... 
So let's see. Uh, on a not, all right, we are in combat now. Uh, yep. You do your damage to your target, and your target does its damage to you. Um, uh, you are going to take Slob's uh, one harm, not because Fletcher is fighting back, but because you hit him so hard that a chunk of him explodes. Ooh. Um, you start kind of spinning the nunchucks around. You really haven't used these before. Maybe you have. It's up to you. Uh, but you're kind of spinning them around, and you kind of bring them both across his face. And uh, sure enough, you smack, you like crack him right in the face. It shears his jaw Ooh. right off. Uh, you are sprayed with some kind of caustic hydraulic fluid. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it starts burning your skin. Yeah. And I'm, so, I'm sorry, I have advanced armor. Are you wearing your advanced armor always. just around every day? Yeah. Always, you're always wearing your advanced armor? <laughs> of course I am. It's very fashionable. It's All right. Okay, yeah. It's bulky. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm a bulky boy. I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say <laughs> all right, all right. that every boy. so often, you're not wearing that armor. All right. Fine, we could fine. say right now you are because no, like, no. you're, you know, something's up. But like, if you're driving or going to school, you're probably not wearing it because it is like 30 pounds. And all, all right. I, I take the I, I'm at two ham right now. You are a two ham. Um. Yeah, uh, th- this is horrifying. Um, you you hit a mostly human-looking thing in the face and rip his jaw off, and now he's leaking fluid. Um, yeah, it tasted awful. Uh, he can't really articulate with his mouth anymore, so everything he now says is uh, from this weird little, like, speakery thing in his mouth hole. Um I don't think that was necessary. Attack! I attack it. Okay, uh, kick some butt. Uh, how are you? How are you attacking it? Mental storm. Mental storm. Okay, two d six plus weird. I'm gonna give you minus two because he doesn't technically have a mind. Oh no! Uh, I'm useless. Uh, seven. All right, partial success. Um, I mean, what Mental Storm is, in a sense, is screwing up the electricity in someone's brain at a psychic level. Um, Because he doesn't, like, have a brain, you're more or less just trying to, like, scramble programming where his brain should be. Yeah, in Uh, his, like, cloud. You take one harm due to essentially psychic stress. Um, And... uh, yeah, he he start like his eyes start doing horrible things. Like they start twisting and spinning. One of them kind of rolls fully back. The other Ugh. one sparks start shooting out. Ugh. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, attack him, Darby. Well, I want to get some more information first. Um, and then I'll put him out of whatever this misery is. Fletcher, who created you? <laughs> I just heard back. I just heard back. Uh huh. From who? This wasn't great, but I just heard back. You should expect a call. Expect a call. Yeah. And at this point, he's now like glitching and twitching. Ugh. He is still functional, but. You are looking at, like, a horrible, half-destroyed android. Mm, I'm gonna just uh-huh. rip whatever biggest wire I can find to try to just shut him down. <laughs> yeah, 2d6 plus tough. This is a kick some butt roll. Um, a 10. Uh, yeah, you you reach into, like, the gaping maw where his jaw was and grab a handful of stuff where his spine is and just rip it out of his face. Oh, sorry, just- Fletch. Just collapses into like a horrible pile. Darby, you did it. You defeated the android. Defeated the android, but don't really know that much more about what's going on, except for that I guess maybe I'm gonna get a call. How she makes sure my ringer's on. A number. What a mystery. I grab a ice cup. phone starts ringing. Oh. 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 Okay. Not my, my phone. One of their phones. Is it my phone? Uh, no. It's coming from in here somewhere. 
Mm. Oh. Uh, uh, I'll check, climb I check over the counter. I'm going to start opening the, um, all the, like, little cubby things. Where Yeah, um, each of you just roll t- uh, 2d6 plus sharp. Whoever gets highest finds it. I'm getting soda. Yeah, you're getting a soda. Yeah. <laughs> I got a 10. Um, 10? I got a 12. All right. Um, <laughs> I got Mindy. Pepsi and Mountain Dew mixed together. <laughs> You you hear it. You kind of follow your ears. And there's like an employees only door, like a swinging door. And you push that open and there's like a couple of lockers and a couple of boxes and then like just a wall, like just a, a wall on the other side of that wall is ringing. So, Mindy, you're like looking at a wall and you don't do anything. Um Darby, you're not sure why Mindy has stopped in front of the door. Hey, Mindy, what's up? Mindy? Why did you just stop? Huh? I th- did yeah, you Mindy, hear it back Mindy there? Mindy is staring at a door, uh, but she is not opening the door. Okay, I'm going to... Th- you can hear it. Going I'm going to just, like, push her wall. to the side and kick the door down. Oh, excuse yeah, you, me. You kick the door down. Well, Mindy, I don't want it to stop ringing. I don't um, know how many rings these things come with. You get, like, kind of a weird feeling of, like, ooh, I misremembered the present. Like, you were pretty sure you were staring at a wall, but you just saw Darby walk up and, like, kick open a door in front of you. Right. Sorry. Um, Oh, this is weird. Uh, Mindy, 2d6 plus weird. Ugh. I do not like being messed with like this. Um, seven. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give you. Um, I'm gonna give you a choice. Uh, a choice? Oh no! You I either know what this is, and you're susceptible to it, or you don't know what this is, but you'll be able to see things like Darby can. Huh. Essentially, whatever is affecting everyone but Darby can stop affecting you, but you have no idea why, or you know exactly what this thing is. Um, I This does affect me, and I know exactly what it is. Maybe it's something... Did, did, did Nana ever warn me about this because I'm susceptible? Yes. Now I remember. This is not mental. This is not psychic. What's going on here is a type of magic called glamour. It's the ability to trick lots of people at once. The the magic of combined belief. Mm -hmm. Glamour magic. Yeah, Nana warned me about this when she warned me about the dangers of peer pressure. Yeah. Right before I started high school. Mm. Yeah, it's like you kind of had like the big conversation, which is simultaneously peer pressure and glamour pressure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and she warned me, I am susceptible to this, unlike other kinds of psychic interference. It's pretty much the only psychic thing, psychic like thing that really affects you, that you don't really have a defense against. Mm. Um, like if you were to do like mental combat with another psychic, you would know what's going. It'd be dangerous, but you'd know what's going on. With this, it's like, oh God, I like this is an ocean and I am wearing concrete shoes. Like I know what this is. I can't stop it. Um it now totally makes sense why Darby is not affected by this. Right. Um yeah, Darby, you open the door, you walk in. Um, the door says office, but you walk in, it's not an office. There is a landline phone on the floor, and it's ringing loudly. And not a digital ring, that old school mechanical phone ring. Mm, okay. I walk to the center of the room, I pick it up, I sit down next to it. <laughs> I pick up the phone and answer it. Darby O'Darcy, 
Perfect. Who's calling? We used to do business. The, the two of us? And your friends. Oh. Okay. Do I need to say or have you figured it out? No, you need to say just to make sure that... It's the dollar. It's the Yep, okay. Yep. You've helped us out in some... You've helped us out. We've helped you out. Mm-hmm. You, run away, you ran a race. I gave you a job. Then you got busy with traveling team and high school, and sometimes we lose touch, but now we are back d- in touch. Oh, okay. You sa- sound a little bit there like maybe you were like... You were like feeling like... I, there wasn't a good friend or something, which is like a little weird because we're not. No, we're not anyway. friends at all. Okay, just I just wanted to like make sure we're on the same page. Mm-hmm. It's like we a, are. Darby, the, who is it? It's the dollar. Oh, nice. Oh, Bob's. Yeah. The dollar's on the phone. Oh, perfect. I'm only down to canonically a hundred and ninety-two dollars. I can use more. Okay. Well, we're not there. We're not there yet, Slobs. Okay. So okay. I heard Severus in the background. He's here. Are you in yes. the market for another job? Uh, not not right now. We're in Are the market. Are you sure? To because f- you're uniquely qualified for it. Okay, well, I'll hear about it. But wait, before we get to it, before we get to it, I don't, don't distract me. What is... What is going on here? What are the what is this station business? What are you trying are you trying to fool people or are you what is going on? Mm, well, kind of two things at once. Okay. Um uh one uh this is a legitimate investment. I have bought plots of land. I have set up small businesses on it. I happen to have a colleague that could use a lot of magic to do so. Hmm. So, first and foremost, there's nothing wrong with making money. It is America, after all. Second, tell the I dollar built... Fletcher's days are numbered. Oh, yeah. Well, I will let Fletcher know. Fletcher was oh, all the Fletchers were only there because it took a while for me to hire actual human beings. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, during his time, Zlob actually is uh, unlocked the door and started waiting on people. Will you yeah, be paying um, a living wage? <laughs> that's the plan. Do all of you want to submit resumes? Hmm. Not right now. No, I understand. And I'm, not, Darby, I'm not. Darby, Zlobs is currently working the front counter. Well, Zlobs is working the front counter, so uh, he will be. He will be. Zlobs, make sure you clock in. I'll send him a link to an application. I already have his email address. Okay. Okay. Great. Um. So there's no nefarious. You're not. It depends on your definition of nefarious. Is this like a standard? you know, business owner. I don't want to say business owners are nefarious, but, you know, like maybe some shady practices or is this like the magic? There's magic that could be hurting people who are here. Darby, no, ask, no. Them, ask them if it's a lotus tree thing. Ask the dollar if it's a, a lotus tree. tree is thing. it a lotus tree thing? Is it a lotus tree thing? I don't think so. Yeah, like from Greek mythology. Tell them he, from he Greek says, mythology. He says, I don't, they say, I don't think so. Oh, okay. oh from, from Greek, Greek mythology? mythology? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No. Let me tell you what happened. Okay. I wanted to open up some stores. I'll be candid, it's for money laundering. Mm. But we sell good product (laughs) and people seem to like it. When people start walking into stores, they feel a great affinity for the place. That's because of the magic that I use to help me build it, or that my colleagues did anyway. But it served another purpose. Ever since two days ago I built all of these, I was waiting to see how long it would take for you, Darby O'Darcy, to figure it out. Why? Hmm. Let's go back in time a little bit. Wait, are we really going back in time or are you storytelling? No, I'm storytelling. Okay. (laughs) But it's up to you. (laughs) It's up to you to tell me if I've got my facts straight. Got it. Ready? Mm Mm-hmm. You accidentally banished your friend Maeve to hell, where she remains imprisoned with other angels. 
you and your brother Declan tried to steal a book that would allow her release, were caught, and you were sent to Earth to atone. Now that you're here, you later learned from another angel named Paul that your exile was because the book you were trying to steal would have released all the angels imprisoned in hell, most of whom were there for a reason, instead of just your friend Maeve. How did I do? How... <laughs> oh my god. You did great, and how do you get your information? I'm the dollar. That's not information you can buy. <laughs> no, but it's information I can have. What do you plan to do with that information? Make you an offer. Are you ready to hear it? This is my recruitment pitch. Okay. The book you were looking for in heaven wasn't a real book. It's knowledge. Divine knowledge. Which means if you were to go back into heaven to get it, you weren't physically stealing a book. You were stealing knowledge. Maybe when you returned back to earth here, that knowledge would have manifested itself into a book in your hands. But really, it's knowledge. However, what we can do instead is figure out if someone else in the entire history of humankind has found that knowledge before you did. And I think someone did. Oh, no. You think you know who it is? I do. But there's only one way for me to confirm it. Okay, tell me. There is a building at Chestnut Hill University called Cruciform Hall. This hall is something of a magically protected library, protected with the same kind of glamour magics that are imbued into all of these station stores. Hmm. Because you could defeat that magic, I believe you could defeat the defenses of Cruciform Hall. I sure could. What I need you to do is land someone on the roof, someone who knows exactly what to get inside, keep the defenses at bay, whatever they are, wait a few minutes, and then extract that person. When that person leaves the building, they will have with them a tool, technically a thumb drive, not too heavy to carry, that will allow me to do two things. Find who in the history of humankind has the knowledge you seek, and two, something that will make me rich. What's that? Uh, I'm stealing art. Or I plan to anyway. <laughs> oh, jeez. If you want to know, I could tell you the whole thing. Yeah, tell me everything. Darby, give me a 2d6 plus sharp. Nine, ten. You have all interacted with the dollar before. Uh, years ago. The dollar... You know, everything was like deeply encoded and enciphered, left you messages. You never talked to the dollar. Like it was, it was like carrier pigeons. The dollar was, you know, three years ago, absolutely obsessed with keeping a, keeping this high degree of anonymity from you and presumably from everyone else. This is a very chatty dollar today. In yeah. a way that, and again, you've only interacted with the dollar a couple of times, if you could even call it interaction. But today, this dollar is chatting you up like a, like it's like a fun millennial manager at your job. <laughs> Have I, is there, yeah, Mindy? Is the phone loud? It is. 
Have I heard any of the dollar's voice? You have. Like just little kind of um, like whispers of it? You've heard enough. Can I try to read the dollar's mind? <laughs> 2d6 plus weird, please. This is important. Um, nine. That's enough. We'll save it for the epilogue, though. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right, here's the deal. Cruciform Hall is something like a vault. All of the religious and arts research done at Chestnut Hill University is kept there. There is a great expert on religious art whose entire life's work is on a secure computer in that building. If I have access to it, I will be able to learn enough about certain pieces of art that I can replicate them and steal the originals for sale. But as an added bonus, I think there's enough knowledge in there for me to get a sense of who, if anyone, has ever cracked the knowledge of de-banishing an angel. Okay. I've made much worse deals before. Perfect. Um, information will follow about the contact that you're going to land on the roof of Cruciform Hall. Oh my. <sighs> if you want to bring your friends, you can. I trust them. I might do this one alone. I understand. Good luck. I'll be in touch. And then the line goes dead. We're going to call it right there. Oh. The dollar is um, in her office uh standing at the uh standing at the kettle um uh darjeeling uh with lemon um she uh takes the uh the phone from her ear pulls out the sim card and drops it into the boiling water and puts the uh puts the phone itself into a bin of other phones <laughs> she chuckles to herself All right, let's get to hiring. She walks back to her uh, her office chair, spins it around, opens up the computer, uh, goes through a VPN to a station recruitment website, and from that she um, she starts typing out uh, typing out the name Severus Lobin in uh, in email oh, no. to send him a resume to work as a cashier. Oh, okay. Um, the email two line autocorrects to brother. Oh no! <laughs> we'll end it right there. Oh, oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! no oh my Bailey god! Just dropped in its slob sister. Oh no, Zoe! Oh, oh no! I convinced myself that wasn't possible. Yeah, same. <laughs> Wow. Oh, no. Wow. 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 We oh, love messing with this voice family structure. No, no. <laughs> she was the good one. <laughs> she still might be at least a little good. She wants to steal art. <laughs> we hear Darby's conversation in the background. Mindy head in the door looking into the office. Zlobs reaches down, takes the Fletcher name tag, puts it on him. Okay, how can I help you? Hi, can I get uh, one bl uh, blue grain bowl and one uh, extra spicy tuna roll bowl? Do you want them to get? Do you want them together? Yeah, put them in one bowl and shake the bowl first, please. I don't mm -hmm. like when it's not shaken. Of and course. one small ice cup for my child. Mm -hmm. You can get a medium ice cup for just ten cents more. 
Oh, fine. A medium ice cup for my child. Okay, thank you. Next. Yeah, how can I help you? Yeah, I need a mac and cheese bowl. Yeah, just one? Uh, no, uh, I want three mac and cheese bowls. Okay, just three? Uh, and an infinite cup of ice. Of course, thank you. Next. Um, can you? Hi, can I try on all the keychains? Of course you can. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, here you go. And, uh, uh, and here's here's the nunchuck one. Oh, thank you. Okay. Here's the gas canister one. Mm-hmm. Here's the helicopter blade one. Whoa, um, my mom's not going to like this one. Nah, it's my favorite.